Hello, Georgia Burns here. Today I'd like to show you this card. Or how I made this card. To make this card I use the stamp sets Petal Palette. I'm going to use Best Wishes and that uh, the Flower the Roses. And I also use the dies that match the beautiful promenade. And I'm going to use this big doily die. I'm not using none of these stamps, just that die. Right, to get started we we're going to do stamp this flower first. So, oh no, we need a card. Right, need a card base of eight and a quarter by five and seven eighths, scored at four and one eighth, and Folded and burnished. Let's do that, get it out of the way. You need a piece of cardstock, white cardstock, at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. You actually need two, one for the inside. And I've got two. A piece of melon mambo I'm going to use at 5 and 5 eighths by 3 and 7 eighths. Right, start again. You need a card base, a piece of melon mambo at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths, a piece of card, two pieces of white card stock at five and five eighths by. No, you need one piece of card stock at five and five eighths by three and seven eighths for the inside. A piece of card stock at five and a half by three and three quarters to sit on top there. That's why I was getting confused. I'm easily confused. Right, and you need some scrap of green for the greenery on here and white for the roses. So if we do our stamping first before we do our die cutting. So we want the big rose and ink. This is my favourite stamp set and they're retiring it. Can you believe that? It's not allowed. Use this so much it has all stained. Right. right. Did I do anything inside this? No, I didn't. We want this big leaf die, I've got the roses die and I've got the doily, so we need the take you out a bit, not too much. Right, first we're going to cut the greenery. We want two of these. So. Out. 
for one reason it wouldn't come out. That's one bit out. And cut the second one. I think it wouldn't come out because it's in the middle. So what I'm going to do is just turn it round and just cut that little bit again. all them little bits out afterwards. Right, that one finished with. Now we want to do this with Magnetic um, board. I don't know why I don't use it. I think I need to get that out and start using it. That's the roses cup. Let's keep that for scrap. Right. Now, the doily bit, what I'm going to do is place it in the middle, to the top, not quite to the top though, put a bit of washi tape on it, now this I will have to put through four times. I'm going to take the whole lot, turn it over and run it through again. Not quite. There's a little bit in the middle that hadn't cut. All cut now. Right. Don't need this anymore. All right, put your butt down. I'll do you. So, what we're going to do is add this to this. Where it should be. So let's glue this down. And the edge of the Cut out and place that up there evenly, she says. And then with our Uh, doily, I'm going to get the brush on it and just brush all the bits out. Oop. 
hopefully they're all out. If not, I'll just poke them out. In and put it all in there. Right, and then we shall glue this and fit it in there. Now I've got to find the right way to fit it, and it's not that way. the top. I've put glue where we can. Place this in the cutout. Like so. And these, once we get all the little bits out, Maybe if I'd got the brush on these, it would have um, been better. But we're going to actually chop these up. Out. Right. I'm going to cut this branch off. And I'm going to cut oh. Same on here, but I'm going to take that one off because that's going to go there. This one, a little bit, will go there. This bit will go here. 
let's take that off. Too big to go in there. Oh no. Yeah, that's what we'll do. I'll have it like that. But first of all, we've got to colour this in. So, to colour this in, alright, there isn't Melon Mambo in the blend, so I'm using Lovely Lipstick. So, I'm just gonna Colour all the flowers in. Why don't I just use the big bit? There's the flowers. I'm not doing any blending or anything. I'm just colouring them in. is it all I'm doing and that's going to sit on there but first of all we need to stamp our sentiment and I don't think I've left enough space up here nope so I'm going to put it down the bottom and just put it there and hope it's straight. Yeah. This is going to go on dimensionals. Let's finish off these little bits.
That should do. Right. We'll just sit that there and we'll add our greenery. So let's put little bits of glue we can. We've been putting them in all the different places from where I had them laid out before. That don't matter. And this one. And then we had this little bit just coming out there. That's fine. Take all the backings off. And place that back. On there. And then we place this on the card base. Usually I like to put it on the card base before I put the um, dimensional stuff on, but I didn't do that this time. And when I think about it, put one inside that one as well. Must get some cards sent to Gainer. Just remembered about it. Right, that is not 
got it, I need gems. Several ones. So we'll pop three on, put one there, one there, and one there. And that is it. That's our card for today. Hope you like it. If you do, give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of my videos, please subscribe. And if you press the bell button next to it, you'll be notified of any more videos I upload, which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.